Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Samadam, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Nam Nam, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Rama Nam, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Rama Nam, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Ram Nam, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Ram Nam, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Jaya Sita Ram, Jaya Lakshman Hanuman, Sita Ram, Jaya Lakshman Hanuman. Jaya Sita Ram, Lakshman Hanuman, Sita Ram, Jaya Lakshman Hanuman. Ani Jago, Ani Go, Ani Go, Ani Go, Go Na Ani Go. Ita He Go Na Ani Go, Ani Go, Ani Go, Go Na Ani Go. Jaya Jaya Brabu Ba, Brabu Ba, Brabu Ba, Jaya Brabu Ba. Jaya Jaya Brabu Ba, Brabu Ba, Brabu Ba, Jaya Brabu Ba. Jaya Jaya Guru De. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Paribraja Kacharya Stutara Sutra Sushima Divine Grace is confound Acharya Jagad Guru Sesi Bhakti Vidanta Swami Sala Prabhupada Ki Sala Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Paribraja Kacharya Stutara Sutra Sushima Divine Grace La Bhakti Siddhanta Sura Sutra Sakri Prabhupada Ki Jai Ananda Guru Vaishnava Gandha Ki Jai Anama Acharya Srila Harida Sakur Ki Jai Prem Shri Guru Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhupada Nanda Shri Adwaita Gadadara Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrana Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopal Gopina Shem Murada Kunda Giri Gauravadam Ki Jai Prandabandam Ki Jai Mathuradam Ki Jai Navaduk Maipudam Ki Jai Jagannath Puri Dham Ki Jai Jamuna Mai Ki Jai Ganges Mai Ki Jai Tulasi Devi Ki Jai Bhakti Devi Ki Jai Samabeta Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai Nitai Gaura Premanande All Glories Assembled Devotees All Glories Assembled Devotees All Glories Assembled Devotees All Glories to Shishi Guru Shri Gauranga
Chandra came to this material world in Treta Yuga with his brothers and he did so many wonderful pastimes very sweet all of them very sweet Nectar. So, <clears throat> one of the pastimes he did, Ramchanda will not sit down when he enter his office. He will check, go all over. Check and see if someone has difficulty. It's a king, it's a leader. He will ask, go all around, check. 
If there is anyone here who has difficulty, they would like to see me. So they will check until Ramchanda is satisfied. No problem. Then he will sit down. Do we have social leaders today? Do we have social leaders today? So what are you doing? What are you doing? What are we doing? Just to clap, Jai Ram Chanda Volki, Jai. That is not what he came for. He came to train all of us. Because all of us are leaders. Do you understand? We are all leaders. The whole world is looking, looking at you. The whole world. What are we doing with what Ramachanda has given to us? What are we doing? <coughs> we are all leaders. And it's expected that we should lead. We should lead people. We should lead people. Rupa Goswami Slapapa had already told us our scientists, our philosophers, and our politicians, they are all fools and rascals. The only people who have head, the devotees. So Ramachanda, he came to give us head. He did, he gave. So his principle is that he wants to be sure everyone is nicely treated. As leadership. If one take the position of a leader, enjoy the facilities which are there, and not doing his duty, is already a candidate for hell. So one day Ramchandra he came to his his office. So he asks, is there anyone who has any difficulty want to see me? Go and check. Say no, everyone is fine. Say no. Go back. He said, Laxman, go back. Go and check. So the second time Laxman came out. He saw a dog by the gate. And the head of the dog was bleeding. His wound. Last man said, You want to see the Lord? The dog said, Yes, but I cannot go because I have a, a body which is not qualified to to go to certain places. I cannot go to the altar, I cannot go to the king, I cannot go to sacrificial areas, I'm forbidden. But I want to see the Lord. <clears throat> Lakshman said, come on, let's go. Say no. Go and ask the Lord if I should come. Only by his permission I will go. So last man went back and informed the Lord, my Lord, there's a dog at the gate. He has a bleeding head and he wants to see you. But Ramachandra said, go and bring him in. These days we go to see people on appointment. And we have to assign the time, your address, your phone number, the purpose you are coming. Right? 
Ramchandra government, none of this thing exists. Anyone can come in any time to see him, and he's available. Today, leaders, we are so selfish. We are so selfish. So hard hearted. We have no space for others in our lives. We have no space for others. We are closed. Why we will not be depressed? Why we will not be bored in the Harikisha movement? Why? So Papa said, we should know why we are suffering. We should know. Every one of us must know why we are suffering. We should know. The heart is hard. The amount of selfishness in our life is very high. From Chandra government, this is space for everyone. So the Lord said, go and bring the dog in. The dog came. Ramachandra saw the head bleeding. He said, my dear, what happened to you? The dog said, my Lord, yesterday I was lying on my own peacefully as a citizen. So the Papa said, a citizen means one who is born in that country is a citizen. So the animals in that country who are born in that country, they are also citizens. It's a proper described citizen to be citizen. So the dog is a citizen. So he said, I was simply enjoying your protection until yesterday I noticed that someone in your kingdom here hit my head and there is bleeding and injury. Ramchandra said, who is that? He said, Brahmana. Brahmana? Yes. Please call him in. Say Brahmana was brought in. So Ramachandra said, What is this? <clears throat> you did this? He said, Yes, my Lord. Why? The Brahmana said, after practicing my austerity, after chanting so many mantras, after being a devotee for many years, I was thirsty and I wanted to drink water. This dog was lying on the way. When I told the dog to give way because I'm so important, the dog was too slow, so I hit the head. One day in America, my spiritual master, his solemnity Bhakti Tita Maharaj, was going for a preaching program with devotees in the car. Some other, as they were driving, a lunatic came on the way and the driver knocked him down. Immediately we said, park the car, park the car. He go down from the car to go and check the man while other devotees were sitting there. In the what the hell this man is doing on the way? What the hell? We are going to preach to deliver people. And this madman is disturbing our preaching. What the hell this man is doing on the way? 
The devotees were in the car. The Guru Dev got down to go and check what happened to this man. He checked the man. After he checked and saw that the man was okay. Then the Guru Dev entered the car. Then he went for the program. So he was looking at all the devotees. If this man, if this man were to be your number one donor, what will you do? Eh? You get down to offer him obeisances, right? Because he's a, a donor. So this madman is not a spirit soul. Right? He's not a spirit soul. This madman is not a spirit soul. But because he's not giving you money, he's nobody. Right? This is what the scripture is teaching. Ramachandra is teaching that. Huh? Where are we learning it from? Where are we learning that from? Suppose this man is one of your heavy donors. Will you be angry like this? You will honor him, you will offer him obeisances and take him to a hospital. Why? So that tomorrow he will give you more money. Not because, not because he's a pure devotee. It's because he's giving money. Is that scriptural? Ramachandra did not teach this. He is attending to the dog. <clears throat> so my Gurudev was very disturbed to see the reaction of devotees. They didn't get down from the vehicle to see the man because he's nobody. We have characters which should be checked. We have character that should be corrected. Ramchanda Bhagwan, he came to teach uh, character, character development. Because character is power. Money is not power. Intelligence is not power. Character is power. The sages and Amisharanya, they selected and they gave them confidence to Sutra Goswami. Why? They told him, you have character. Therefore, you can lead us. You have character. She can lead us. So, Ramchanda, he asked the dog, the Brahmana, what is this? I'm very important preacher, I'm a pure devotee, always engaged in preaching, and this dog, this dog was just lying on the way, disturbing my preaching. So I hit the head, it's supposed to be fast, it's supposed to know my importance and give way. The dog doesn't know my importance. So I hit the head. From a chandra, a king, a perfect leader, he did not give judgment. 
Ramachandran asked all his ministers, all of you will tell me what to do in this case. All the ministers who prepared Brahma Rishis, Maharishis, Raja Rishis, all of them, they said, a Brahmana cannot be punished. That's what the scripture said. Lord Machana said, the action he performed is a Brahmana activity. Is Brahmana activity injuring a citizen? Is it Brahmana activity? So is he a Brahmana? Yesterday we discussed Brahmana is a, is a, is by birth or by quality. In quality. So his activity qualify him as a Brahmana? Although he is wearing a thread, Dwija, Dwija, Dwija does not necessarily mean a Brahmana. He said Dwija because he has second bed, he has Brahman thread. Vaishyas, they, they also wear thread. Satriyas, they also wear thread. They are Dwija. A Brahmana is different. Brahmana has quality, which Bhagavad Gita mentioned, 1842. This Brahmana did not have these qualities mentioned in Bhagavad Gita, 1842. He is short tempered, it's against the standard of Bhagavad Gita. He is injuring a citizen. So Ramachandra is asking, what should be done in this case? He's asking all his ministers. He didn't just say, I'm the Supreme Lord, I'm the, the head, I'm, the, I'm the, 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 the authority here. I can do whatever. Ramachandra did not do that. He asked his ministers what to do in this case. The scriptural quotations were coming from all directions. They were researching the scriptures and bringing evidence. Brahmana should not be punished. It's okay, that is all right. But that is a Brahmana should not be punished. But his activity does not defeat a Brahmana. So what to do? After heavy deliberation, all of them, they concluded, you are the supreme personality of Godhead. Whatever you say is perfect and complete and the whole world will follow. So what, tell us what to do. Ram Chandra said, no, before I speak, ask the dog. Let us ask the dog to speak. Everybody's ear was standing. They were standing up. So Namachanda said, my dear dog, please tell us what punishment should be given to, what to do with this Brahmana? Not because of you as a principle that, that governs the whole world. What principle, what principle? We should follow. The dog said, My dear Lord, give this Brahmana as his punishment a leadership position. And he should be the king of Kuru Jangala. And let him be carried on a palanquin to his kingdom with the heavy kirtan. Brahmana reacted. How is this punishment? 
This is promotion. This is glorification. He is a king and he's carried on palanquin and with a heavy kirtan. How is his punishment? Ram Chandra said, don't worry, ask him. Let him give purport. Sir <laughs> Papa gave a lecture in Geneva. First Canto, chapter 13, text. Forget the text. Remember? First Canto, chapter 13, text 30. A lecture Prophet gave. And he's speaking about this. <clears throat> All our G GBC men should be very, very careful. All the leaders in ISKCON, all ISKCON leaders, we should be very, very careful. Otherwise, we will fall down. Like Yamaraj. Yamaraj did a little mistake in giving judgment to Manduka Muni. And the Muni cursed him, he fell down as Bidura. So, Prophet was speaking on this and he said, All my, he said, Krishna has his GBC men, 12 in number, the 12 Mahajans. And we also, ISKCON also we have, our GBC members have 12 GBC members. So, <laughs> we are following the first step. So our, our leaders should be very, very careful so that we don't fall down. So be careful. To have a position is not to take service from people without rendering service to the people. Our position is to give service. Is to lead people in Krishna consciousness. That is leadership. Otherwise, we have difficulty. So Ramchandra is asking the dog, tell us, what is the meaning of your statement? The dog said, the best way to punish a person who has no control over his or her senses is to give him a big position. If you give him a big position, his false ego will increase and he will fall very soon. That's the best way to punish a person who has no control over the senses. Big post, big position. He will not last in that position because the ego will multiply and he will offend everyone. So the dog said, in my previous life, I was the king of that Kuru Jangala. I was very, very religious. I worshiped the Brahmanas. I worshiped the demigod. I worshiped Lord Vishnu. I have respect for them, but because of a little mistake, I was given the body of a dog. And this Brahmana, who has no control over his senses, I tried, I, I, I have the difficulty. What about this man? Give him that by post. That's the way to punish him. He will fall down very soon. Lord Rasab Dev, he taught us, do not become a father, a mother, a teacher, a leader. Do not. He is not saying we should resign from our position. Lord Rasab Dev is not saying that. We should not go there if we are not going to use just position as a service to help others. And in one lecture, second kind of by what Prabhupada said, it is illegal. 
it is illegal to accept the position, accept all the enjoyable facilities, and not doing our duty. It is illegal business. So, Lord Machanda is teaching the principle we should become responsible leaders. Our leadership is to help people become Christian conscious. Any sacrifice it takes for us to do this, we should do it at all costs. It's a teaching from Lord, Lord Ramachandra. Become responsible leaders. Otherwise, we are going to be Sudra. Next slide. Which is degradation. <laughs> degradation. Hmm. We take to Krishna consciousness and we can go back home, back to Godhead. Not to become Sudra in the next life. It's to go back home, back to Godhead. And that requires that we should use our intelligence. To use our position as a service. We are servant leaders. We have to lead, we have to help people. Ramchandra, he will disguise himself because he knows that ministers or counselors, we have so many counselors in this country. Ramchandra knows that these, these counselors or ministers or whatever, the political. So, if you are not in my good record, I will not recommend you for initiation. Ramchandra knows that. Therefore, he does not, he does not just depend on, on the minister. He will disguise himself, himself and move, move among his people, among the citizens. He knows whatever is happening in his kingdom. He does this personally. He has his spies and he has ministers. He's a perfect leader. He knows that some, some places are, are not having water and the counselor in charge that area is not reporting. Ramchandra will detect it. He's a leader. Because he has the interest of the citizens in his heart. Of course, as a supreme presidency of God, he is, he is different. For example, no one dies in Ayodhya. He did not want to die. Ramchandra gave that. No one gets sickness if he doesn't want sickness. No, nobody wants, nobody gets. From China, he does that. That is a supreme. But the perfect leadership that we can do, following in his footsteps, for he's teaching that. What? what? It's not just a human being. It's a dog. It's a dog. The Lord is protecting. That's the leader. To take care of everyone. As long as we have accepted people, it is our responsibility to take care. So the success in our movement is not about the congregational members we have the number of our congregation. Our success does not depend on the number of congregations. Our success depends on how many of these people we are investing our in Krishna conscious energy into to make them pure devotees. That is success. We are preachers. We have to preach. And if you preach, many people will come. But how do we take care? How are we taking care of the people? 
Christians have sent to us. That's leadership. Hmm? If you don't have capacity to take care, don't don't take. If you take, be responsible for them. A leader, a leader has two third percentage of all the sins his subject commit. He will carry that two third. Every so if you, if you have five hundred devotees in a temple. As a leader, you are carrying to third percentage of their sinful activities. On the head. That's a leader. So you'll see many people, many people in the material world, leaders, they get to terrible problems, situations, sickness, when they give up their position. Because of the reaction of the sinful activities they are carrying from their head, but they, they don't know this. They are rushing, vote me into power, vote me into because they, are, they know you are going to steal money, they're not going to lead or rule, they're just simply going to steal money. Yes, you can steal, you can steal money, but it's very, very dangerous. What, what will take after that is heavy. So Ramchandra came to open our eyes, to give us head, to give us intelligence, to see what is our responsibility as leaders. So they made him the king and sent him there. He didn't last. Because they are not control the senses. We have to control the senses. We are here to become Goswamis, to train and control the senses. Proper mentioned this morning, the devotees have control over the senses. So leader have control over the senses. Then we can lead other people. It's from Chandra. Teaching by example, using his life to teach the world. When Ramchandra got to Lanka and the camp waiting for them to begin their fight. Huh? Ravana sent some spies. By that time, Bibisan, his brother, was already with Ramchandra. So as a Rakshasa, he knew the, the spies were flying in the sky. They were coming in the sky like a plane. They were coming. Immediately, Bibisan detected, say, oh, those people coming, those people coming, they are coming from my brother. They are Rakshasa. And although they have not reached here, they have already known our secret. So they, be, they should be arrested. They were arrested. The same principle. When they were arrested, Ramachandra <laughs> was also doing the same thing as all of them. So these two spies are coming from our enemy. And they already discovered all our strength and our weaknesses. Hmm? So what to do with them? They have already seen our weakness. They know our strength. And they will go and tell Ravana. So what to do with it? With them. Ramchandra asked all his people. He didn't, he didn't give judgment. What to do? So many suggestions were coming in. So many suggestions. We should kill them because they have seen our secret. 
So we are in danger. So kill them. I'm sorry. Then it's okay. We should not allow them to go. If you don't kill them, we should not allow them to go. We should keep them here. Let them fight for us. After all, they are in our camp. Okay? So many, so many suggestions. And Ramchandra finally gave his verdict. Ramchandra said, These two people are messengers. They are messengers. The scripture does not authorize us to kill them. So we cannot kill them. And he said, let them go. Let them go. Whatever they have seen is okay, but let them go. This is my position, not my position, Lom Chanda is speaking. This is my position that even if Ravana comes here now and tells me I'm sorry, it will be the end to all this trouble. Right now, I will forgive him completely and never remember anything again. If Ravana came, comes now and tells me I'm sorry, we finish. So we have nothing to do with them. Let them go. Those, those, Rakshasas offered obeisances to Lord Machandra and accepted him to be the supreme personality of Godhead. By the character, the behavior of Lord Machandra, without, without showing his mystic power to them, they accepted he is the supreme personality of Godhead and they were sent back. They went straight to Ravana. Offered obeisances to Ravana, their body was trembling. In the bliss of seeing the Supreme Passage of Godhead and his magnanimous behavior towards them. So Ravana said, Yes. Yes, tell me, tell me. Did you, did you see? Yeah, yes, we saw everything. But let us tell you the truth. We want to tell you the truth because you are our king. We want to tell you the truth. Yes, that is what I send you for. Tell me. The, the servant of the Rakshasa king said, We are very, very, very fortunate to meet the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He is Lord Ramchandra, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. That's the last thing Ravana wants to hear. He didn't want to hear that. That is not what the Ravana want to hear from them. But they were very bold to express their experience to their king. Because they have gotten the mercy of Lord Machandra, they are fearless. No obstacle, fearless. For one who has gotten the mercy of the Lord, there is nothing left to be desired. Nothing. So they said, please release his wife to him and save the whole Rakshasa kingdom. The Lord is ready to forgive you. Ravana roared in anger. Don't tell me this. How can you tell me this? Don't tell me this. The only thing Ravana did not want to hear, and he didn't hear throughout his life, is give Sita back to Ram. Ravana never hear that. He never entered his ear. He was very angry. And he told them, because I remember the service you have rendered to me, that is why you are still alive now. The service. Even demons appreciate service. 
That is how powerful service is. I remember the service you have been rendering to me. Therefore, I spare your life. But don't let me see you again. Go away. But he appreciated the importance of service. It's relevant. So what about those who are rendering service lovingly? Who can tell their fortune or their position? Those who are doing service lovingly to the Lord. With the, with the, with the interest to please the Supreme Lord. Who can who can describe their glory or their fortune. This teaching from Ramachandra. He is ready to forgive anyone. Everyone. And he said, anyone who comes to me and said, my dear Lord, I am yours right now. That person is mine. How long does it take to say that? How long, does it, how long does it take for us to tell Ramachandra? He's standing here, right? How long does it take for us to tell Ramachandra, my dear Lord, I'm yours? How long does it take? Hmm? Five seconds. Are we going to do it? Or the Lord is just speaking? He's just talking? He's just bluffing? Huh? Eh? The Lord is standing here for us. Why can't we just go now and to the Lord and tell him, my dear Lord, I am yours from the heart. And see the miracle Lord Machanda is going to do for our life. Hmm? He's ready to do that. Lord is ready. He came to deliver us, to help us. He came for that purpose. Very, very compassionate. Very, very compassionate. Very sweet. When He went to Mithila. Ramchanda went to Mithila. By the order of his guru, Vishwamitra Muni. And that time, he, at that time, he, he, was not, he was not planning to go there. He was not planning to go there. But his guru took him there. And Sita at that time was ready to have a husband. So all the satyrias in the world came to come and contest. All of them, the, the system Janak Maharaj is said for anyone to marry his daughter can only be done by the Supreme Lord himself. Because Sita Devi is goddess of fortune, so ordinary person cannot have her hand. Only the Lord can have her hand. No one else can do it, only the Lord. So Ramchandra was sitting there very peacefully composed, no anxiety. This is what you see in the Lord. Anxiety 100% gone. It it's free from anxiety, peaceful, completely peaceful. That chants me when I look at Ramchanda. It chants me by his serenity, his supreme, composed nature. So, so sweet. Nothing, no anxiety, nothing. He's free, free, completely free.
All the satirists tried, they tried, they tried. Nothing. They, they, they couldn't even, they couldn't even raise it up a little bit. Only Ravana tried. Only Ravana tried to lift it up and he fell down. Out of shame, he left. Janak Maharaj was seriously in an anxiety and he shouted, so there is no more satria in this world? My daughter is not going to get married? No satria? What is my misfortune? So Bishamitra Muni looked at Ram. <laughs> all those, all those uh, jackals, all those jackals, they have tried, they have failed. So they have gone. <laughs> you, you are the owner of Sita. Now you go. What did Ramchanda do? Eh? Ramachandra stood up and offer obeisances to his guru. He didn't just walk there. He offered obeisances to his guru. In doing that, he obtained the mercy, the blessing, and the empowerment of his guru. This is our tradition. When we join this movement, no devotee leaves the temple without offering obeisances to Srila Prabhupada before we go. Either it's Sankirtan or shopping, whatever. Leaving the temple, the system was you come to the temple room and offer obeisance to Srila Prabhupada and take his blessing before we go. And when we come back, we come also to come and offer obeisance to him. Do we do that these days? We pass through the back to go anywhere. Ramachandra did not do that. Everything he did, he did under the order of his spiritual master. He offered obeisance, took the blessing from his guru, the good blessing. Now you go. And then he peacefully, peacefully, majestically went there. With the left hand, he just peacefully picked it, just like a child taking a mushroom. Is it difficult for a, a child to take a mushroom? Very, very easy. Just pick, pick the bow up. Peacefully, very gently, no struggle and took a quiver and placed it there and threw it until he broke the thing into two. The whole universe was deafened, yes. And Jana Mara was very happy, yes! Now my anxiety is gone. My daughter has a husband. Yes. He was happy. And Sita was smiling. He was looking at Ramachandra from back, from ground. He was not seeing from there. He was not seeing directly to the eye. She was seeing Ramachandra from the ground. And you are sorry to. <laughs> was smiling. She was smiling inside. And Ramachandra also was very peacefully standing, uh, looking, looking at his. Hmm? So he got Sita Devi. Jana Mara was very happy. The Guru was happy. Everybody was happy. Everybody was happy and satisfied. And when the Lord was returning to Ayodhya, then Parashuram came. Everybody was in anxiety. Dasara Mara was in anxiety. Everybody was in anxiety at this auspicious moment. What, 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 what is this at this time? Ram was composed, no anxiety, nothing. Completely 
equipoise. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Very sweet. No anxiety, no tension. So, Prasuram said, I heard that you broke the bow of Lord Shiva. Yes. <laughs> this one is Lord Vishnu bow. So, Yaram? Yes. Can you break this one? Yes. Give me. Ramchana took it and faced it on him. Okay. Now you tell me what to do with it. Ramchana was peaceful, not anxiety. Well, Parashuram was an anxiety. So it is wrong to challenge your senior. If you challenge the senior, everything you have will be taken. So Ramchana says, so now you tell me what to do. Parashuram was anxiety. It's okay. You have two things, so choose one. I will, I will bless you. But something must happen. Because it's a challenge you give to me, so I accepted the challenge. So something must be done. So Parashuram was, at that time, he was able to see that, oh, he made a, he made a mistake by challenging the Supreme Passage of God. So he decided, you can destroy the result of my austerities. So I will use my power of locomotive to go back to my ashram and continue with austerity. So I'm saying that, finish. All the austerity he performed for years, in a moment, he was done. So you accepted the Supreme Presidential God, Ramchandra, to be the Supreme Presidential God, and offer obeisances to him. And Ramchandra continued his journey successfully to Ayodhya, and everything was, everything, everything was perfectly celebrated. It was only joy, Ramchandra. See, Ramchandra Bhagwan Ki Comment or question? All right. Thank you very much, Maharaj, for your beautiful <laughs> stories of dog and others. Uh, Maharaj, my question was like, uh, I felt a little discouraging about this uh, statement, ki how uh, regarding preaching, we have to take care that we don't keep increasing the quality, uh, quantity, but uh, we have to train people in the purity. So I accept that we need to train the people, but uh, and that like 2% of the sins come to the leader. So that is, becomes a kind of horrifying for us to reaching to the masses and giving everybody an opportunity to uh, uh, take this Krishna consciousness. As we hear like uh, Neha Vikramo Nasosti. So even somebody does a small endeavor, maybe not everybody will become qualified to go back to Godhead in this lifetime. We understand that thing. But uh, a little uh, opportunity also if we can share with masses, and then sh surely over the period of their lifetime, they will be able to make their journey back to Godhead. And in Iskon, <coughs> Like I am able to see many of the uh, senior devotees, some of them, they are very much into a very quality crowd and there are very uh, other devotees also, Maharajas and all. Those, uh, they are very merciful even to giving a lot of uh, initiations and other things to the masses also. It uh, may not be, uh, not like uh, very trained people, but they are in the, like that we see as a mercy because they accept very, uh, maybe like neophyte people as their disciples. So Maharaj, like, uh, I, my question is that how <laughs> we have to balance both the things surely, but when it comes to sharing this mercy of Lord Chatan Mahaprabhu to everybody, so what should be our role um, in that way? Like we should get horrified with the, that, okay, if I am preaching to somebody and the sin also will come to me, I should get horrified by that. I should not take any relationship positions. Or uh, like uh, we should have that uh, Lord Chatan Mahaprabhu, like we need to give an opportunity to everybody and Neha Vikru Nastasti will take care of, uh, we will also try to train but this will take care, maybe in future lifetime they will be able to get more and more uh, 
fixed up in their pure devotional service and they will go back to God it. <clears throat> we should take leadership position. But we should do the service. We should not say that, okay, no, no, no. I don't want to become Sudra in the next life. So I'll not be. That's not the point. The point is that we should become responsible. And we should have a goal. But preaching, people will come. And we should preach and bring people. Among the people we have, there are people there, not many of course, there are people there who are very serious. We should identify them and invest in them. That's the duty of special master. They are people. We should know them. Those who are serious now, identify them by how they are responding to what we are giving. So someone is taking what you are giving, so you give more. And those who are not, right, a serving prasad and someone, so no, okay, is satisfied. But someone is still open, so you give. So those who are taking seriously, we should identify them and give them more. It is our responsibility to do that. Sacrifice for them. To Spain, you should give them more opportunity. Let them become very strong. No responsible leader will leave the body peacefully without having somebody whom he is satisfied and convinced that, yes, I have been able to train this person successfully and I have made him. It is the anxiety for all pure devotees to get somebody to represent them. It's anxiety for all responsible people. See, in the history, all satriyas would look for a son. If there is no dead, they would do everything to get a son. Why? Somebody to represent. That is the standard. That is the process. So here in Christian consciousness, our duty is to look for that person or those people. While dealing with the many, don't forget the one. That is the rule. Look for that one person among all the people we have who is ready to go now. Give the, those people more <coughs> facilities. Let them become pure before you leave the body. It is the task for all responsible leaders. All right. Does it make sense? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Sri Ramchandra Bhagavan ki. Sri Lapaupadi ki. Itai Gurpamanandi. All glorious assembly watches.